one day after a crash leaves a truck and a driver dangling above the Ohio River, the Clark Memorial Bridge has reopened. Engineers say, incredibly, the, br the bridge is structurally sound and the only damage was done to the sidewalks. This right here was the scene that captivated Louisville and beyond Friday. A food delivery truck hanging over the Clark Memorial Bridge, the driver still inside. When firefighter Bryce Carden reaches her, 40 minutes later, the two will pray together. And then he tells her it's go time. I told her, I said, just take a deep breath and then here's what I need you to do. Because I needed her to assist in, you know, moving certain ways to be able to get the harness on right. And once we did that, we got her free of the seatbelt and uh, she was on my system. So I knew that we were good from there. We just needed to bring her on up. Mayor Craig Greenberg said the woman who was taken to the hospital to be checked out was in good spirits when the two talked Saturday. She is incredibly brave. She is incredibly fortunate. The other driver, seriously injured, remains hospitalized. The mayor said on Friday afternoon that driver, according to witnesses, hit a stalled vehicle, crossed the center line, and then hit the semi, propelling it almost over the bridge. Greenberg met with state highway engineers Saturday who had been assessing the damage since the crash. The bridge is safe for vehicular travel. The damages uh, have been found that they do not affect the bridge's structural integrity. Kentucky Transportation Cabinet engineer James Ballinger said incredibly only the sidewalks were damaged. They'll remain closed for now, but three lanes of the bridge reopened to traffic around 5 Saturday evening. Greenberg praised the dedication of engineers and the bravery of first responders. Everyone from EMS, from LMPD, to the 911 call dispatchers, to all first responders who played a role in this heroic rescue. I'll tell you what, we have some pretty good people in our city. All right, so state engineers do not expect this to be a long-term closure. They've promised more information once there's a plan for repairs and construction begins.